Welcome to St. Dunstan in the East, a peaceful retreat nestled in the heart of London. With its fascinating history and beautiful surroundings, this hidden gem offers a refreshing escape from the city bustle. Whether you're a history buff or simply seeking a quiet spot to unwind, St. Dunstan in the East has something for everyone. Join us on this journey as we discover the charm and tranquility of St. Dunstan in the East. St. Dunstan in the East a tranquil and historic hidden gem nestled in the heart of London, the medieval church ruins of St. Dunstan and the East offer a serene escape from the bustling city. Unlike its more famous neighbor, the Tower of London, this 1,000-year-old ruin remains relatively unknown to tourists, adding to its allure as an undiscovered urban sanctuary. Originally constructed in the 12th century, the church suffered severe damage during the Great Fire of London in 1666. Despite being largely repaired and rebuilt, it faced further destruction during the Blitz in World War II. Eventually, in 1971, the site was transformed into a public garden. The remnants of the church, adorned with ivy-clad archways and walls, frame the space, creating a picturesque backdrop for visitors. The architectural remnants of St. Dunstan in the east are indeed a sight to behold. These weathered stone walls, adorned with ivy and foliage, stand as silent witnesses to centuries of history. Let's delve deeper into the enchanting beauty of this hidden oasis. Ancient Ruins The medieval church ruins evoke a sense of timelessness. Their crumbling archways and moss-covered stones tell stories of devotion, resilience, and the passage of ages. Imagine the echoes of prayers that once filled these sacred spaces. Nature's embrace, the lush greenery that now envelops the ruins is a testament to nature's resilience. Ivy tendrils cling to the walls, softening their edges. Vibrant leaves dance in the breeze, creating a harmonious blend of man-made and natural beauty. Sunlight filtering through. Picture the dappled sunlight filtering through gaps in the ancient stonework. It paints patterns on the ground, inviting you to step into a different era. As you explore, you'll discover hidden corners where time seems to stand still. Quiet contemplation, St. Dunstan in the East offers a sanctuary of silence. Away from the city's clamor, you can sit on a weathered bench, close your eyes, and listen to the rustle of leaves. It's a place for introspection, a chance to connect with both the past and the present. Photographer's Paradise. For photographers, this setting is a dream. Capture the play of light and shadow, the delicate balance between decay and renewal. Frame the ruins against a backdrop of blossoms or capture the symmetry of an ancient arch. Changing seasons. Each season brings its own magic. In spring, cherry blossoms bloom, infusing the space with delicate pink hues. Summer sees the garden in full bloom, while autumn carpets the ground with fallen leaves. Even winter has its quiet charm. Unseen stories, as you walk among the stones, consider the lives that intersected here. From medieval worshippers to wartime survivors, countless souls have left their mark. Their stories remain hidden, waiting for curious hearts to unravel them. Remember, beauty lies not only in perfection but also in imperfection. St. Dunstan in the East embodies this truth, a place where history, nature, and imagination converge. So, the next time you visit, take a moment to breathe in its quiet magic. Visiting St. Dunstan in the East is a unique experience. The old church tower still stands, inviting guests to climb to the top and enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding area. The beautifully maintained garden features lush greenery and colorful flowers throughout the year. Benches and tables are thoughtfully scattered, providing perfect spots to sit, relax, and soak in the tranquility. Remarkably, the garden is wheelchair accessible, ensuring it's a destination for everyone. Despite its central location, St. Dunstan in the east remains surprisingly peaceful, a haven to escape the city's hustle and bustle. Rarely crowded, it allows visitors to explore at their own pace, appreciating both its history and natural beauty. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a nature lover, or simply seeking a quiet spot, this hidden oasis should definitely be on your London itinerary. Plus, it's budget-friendly. Admission is free. Herb Cherry Blossom Blossom 
Other cool things to do near St. Dunstan in the east. While exploring this beautiful and historic destination, consider checking out other attractions in the area. From the Tower of London to nearby neighborhoods, there's plenty to discover. St. Dunstan in the east, nestled within the heart of London, is a captivating testament to centuries gone by. Let's delve into its intriguing history. Origins and Construction St. Dunstan in the East was first built in the early 12th century. Its name honors St. Dunstan, an Anglo-Saxon saint who served as abbot at Glastonbury Abbey and later became the Archbishop of Canterbury. The church stood proudly, its walls echoing with prayers and stories, until it faced a series of trials. The Great Fire of London, 1666, in 1666, the Great Fire of London swept through the city, leaving destruction in its wake. St. Dunstan was not spared, it suffered severe damage during this catastrophic event. Despite the devastation, the church was not entirely lost. It underwent significant repairs after the fire, preserving some of its original character. Sir Christopher Wren's influence Sir Christopher Wren, one of England's most notable architects, left his mark on St. Dunstan. He designed a steeple for the church in 1695. Wren's architectural vision blended seamlessly with the existing Gothic style of the church, even though he used materials not available during the Middle Ages. The restored church featured impressive wooden carvings and an organ transferred from St. Alban's Abbey in 1818. The Blitz and the church's demise, the 20th century brought new challenges. During World War II, the Blitz ravaged London, and St. Dunstan was caught in its path. Irreparably damaged, the church's once grand structure was largely destroyed in 1941. Only sections of the north and south walls remained standing. However, Wren's tower and steeple miraculously survived the bombing. A tranquil oasis amidst urban bustle, Today, the majestic ruins of St. Dunstan in the east form the boundaries of a picturesque public garden. This Grade 1 listed sanctuary offers a slice of tranquility in the bustling heart of London. Visitors can sit on benches, listen to the gentle murmur of fountains, and reflect within the green-draped remnants of the church. Occasional services are still held there, connecting the present to the echoes of the past. Visiting St. Dunstan in the east, Located centrally, the nearest tube stations are Monument or Tower Hill. A short walk from London Bridge, Street Dunstan awaits on Great Tower Street, where buses 15 and N15 stop. Step through the archway and feel the weight of centuries pressing against your skin, each stone a silent witness to the passage of time. The air itself seems to hold the secrets of London's past, a heady blend of ancient incense and the earthy freshness of dew-kissed leaves. Within the embrace of St. Dunstan in the east, time takes on a life of its own, swirling and dancing to a rhythm unseen. As dawn breaks, the garden comes alive with the soft patter of dewdrops on ivy-clad walls, and sunlight filters through the branches, casting mosaic patterns on the ground. Take a moment to rest on the moss-covered bench, an invitation to become a custodian of memories. Close your eyes and feel the echoes of the Great Fire of 1666, the heat licking at the time-worn stones of St. Dunstan as it stood defiant amidst the chaos. Despite the scars etched into its very essence, it survived, a testament to resilience in the face of adversity. Sir Christopher Wren, with stardust in his veins, envisioned greatness amidst the Gothic arches of St. Dunstan. In 1695, he gifted it a steeple, a celestial finger pointing upward, bridging the gap between stone and sky, past and possibility. Wander through the Garden of Whispers, where ferns brush against your ankles and ancient roots cradle your steps. Listen closely, and you might hear the whispers of a medieval monk, his ink-stained fingers transcribing illuminated manuscripts as his whispers linger in the air. Pause by the blooming roses, where prayers once ascended and love letters were whispered amongst the petals. Each blossom holds a chapter of its own, weaving together the stories of pilgrims, poets, and dreamers into a living book. Sometimes, a lone violinist appears, his melodies weaving through the ruins, touching hearts across centuries. In that moment, the past applauds, and the present listens, as the veil between worlds thins.
As you reluctantly leave, remember that you've become part of St. Dunstan's tapestry, joining the lineage of those who sought solace within its walls. Carry its whispers with you, and let them echo in your heart as you re-enter London's bustling symphony. And when life's cacophony overwhelms, know that St. Dunstan awaits, a timeless refuge where history dances with eternity, ready to welcome you back into its enigmatic embrace. Overall, St. Dunstan in the East is a must-visit destination for anyone seeking a blend of history, beauty, and tranquility in the heart of London. Whether you're interested in exploring its rich history, capturing stunning photographs, or simply enjoying a moment of peace amidst nature, this hidden gem has something to offer everyone.